my name is Rachel and I'm here with a pretty big TBR for two readathons that are coming up very soon. The first readathon is running from May 1st, which is this Sunday, to next Sunday, May the 8th, and that is Ribsat. I'll leave information for this readathon down below. And basically for this readathon, you pick a spot on your bookshelf and then you just start reading across. And if you come across a series, you are allowed to read the first book and then skip it. But basically you're just trying to get through uh, the most books you can in the week on your shelf. Now you are allowed to kind of rearrange books. And basically that's what I did. I went through my TBR and picked out some books to read this month. And they are behind me in kind of the order I'm hoping to read them. So yeah. Then immediately after that, so Ribsat ends on the Sunday the 8th. On Monday the 9th starts Battle Books, which runs all the way until the next Sunday the 15th. And I will leave information about that readathon down as well. And basically since I have 15 days of readathon action ahead of me, I put quite a few books on this TBR to see how many that I could get through. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into the TBR for both of these readathons that cover the entire first half of May. So first of all, I'm currently reading two books and I'm hoping to get through those as soon as possible. The first one is The Raven King, the final book in the Raven Cycle series by Maggie Stiefvater. And I'm currently reading that one. And because I have been waiting for this so, so long, I have a good feeling that that's going to be finished by Sunday night. So it may be the first book I complete for the readathon, but I am going to be reading that today and then whatever I don't finish, I will probably be finishing tomorrow. So I anticipate finishing that one the first day of the readathon. And then I'm also currently listening to A Gathering of Shadows, which you've heard in like all of my wrap ups because I just cannot finish this book. It's awesome. I love it. I just don't know why it's taking me so long. I'm listening to it on audiobook now and I'm really hoping to wrap that up this week. Now once those two are finished I'm gonna move on to new books and you see you see this list right here. Now these are the books that I have been finishing lately. We're gonna include those in a wrap up soon um, but this stack I've already finished starting here is where I'm going to begin on Sunday once I finish with my two current books. So let's go through the list. So first up is a book that I heard blurbs about on a podcast recently and that is The Regional Office is Under Attack by Manuel Gonzalez. And basically this is supposed to be um, this secret headquarters called the regional office where this group of female like super powered assassins work and obviously by the title they're under attack so they have to kind of you know defend their office and their turf and save the world. And it sounded pretty interesting and then I found out he's going to be in a bookstore locally here next week. I'm hoping to give this a read and maybe hear him talk a little bit and get my book signed this coming week. Next is Quidditch Through the Ages and mostly I just want to read this one because um, at school I, I'm running a, a self challenge there where I'm reading a book that starts with every letter of the alphabet and I'm kind of down to the end since it's our last month of school and I don't have a Q. So this one is short and it starts with a Q and it seems kind of cool. So I decided to pick this one up from the library and give it a read. Next up is another short one that I've been wanting to read for a while that I borrowed from the library and it's so short I have no idea why I haven't read it yet. And that is The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn and literally it is so small. I'm gonna be able to read this easily in one sitting, so I'm just gonna go ahead and knock this out this month. Next up is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I have been wanting to read this book since it came out. I have not read the Grisha trilogy, but I've heard that you don't really have to read that to get this book. And I just got this as an audiobook on Audible, even though this book is beautiful. Um, this seemed like a great one to listen to since it has multiple points of view. And as soon as I finish A Gathering of Shadows as an audiobook, I will be jumping into this one, which is our school's book club book, pick for uh, I believe it's June so I'm kind of reading ahead. Next I want to pick up Amulet Volume 6 and Volume 7. Um, I don't remember if 8 is out yet but this will get me near um, caught up with this graphic novel series that I have been reading and this basically just follows um, this girl who is a stonekeeper and she's got all these magical powers based on the stone amulet that she wears and she's trying to save the world from all these crazy elf villains. So yeah. Next up is Wink Poppy Midnight by April Genevieve Tolchecki. Um, I got to beat her at a recent signing and she totally sold me on this book as well as the tagline which is a hero, a villain, a liar, who's who. And again, another short book. I think this is gonna be an easy book to read for a readathon. I'll probably sit down and read it all in one sitting. And I think it's gonna be awesome. Next up is Zombie City, book three in Darren Shan's Zombie series. And I said I wasn't gonna finish the series, but I saw volume three at the library and I decided to read one more because they're super short and 
I don't know. It just caught my attention and I thought if I'm thinking about reading it, I might as well go ahead and read it. So I'm gonna go ahead and read it. Next is The Case of the Stolen Sixpence, A Mystery of Maisie Hitchens, or yeah, Hitchens, which is by Holly Webb. This is book number one. And we have received book three and four at the elementary libraries that I work for. And I kind of just want to read through this, A, so I can talk about it with the kids, and B, so I can see if we need to get books one and two for the series to make sense. And it's a short little book. I think it's going to be cute, and I wanted to give it a read for work. Next up is another short book that I've kind of had my eye on. I found this one at the high school library that I run. Uh, this is by Ellen Whitlinger, and this is called The Long Night of Leo and Brie. And when I was going through kind of genrefying everything, this caught my eye. And it's so tiny, I have no idea why I still haven't read it, so... Readathon is a perfect time for that. Next up is The Jamaica Inn by Daphne Du Maurier. I am reading this with my mom for our little book club this month. And yeah, it's got to be read. I'm kind of excited. I'm a little worried. I got about halfway through Rebecca and didn't wasn't able to finish it for various reasons. So I'm hoping this one is just as good as Rebecca, but that I can actually finish it. So we'll see. Next up is The Winner's Curse by Marie Rotkowski. I have heard so much good things about this book and the series, and I haven't started it yet, so I'm very, very excited to jump in and get started, especially since the final book is already out now, so I need to get started. Next up is Reached by Ali Condi. This is the third and final book in the Matched series, and basically I just want to get this one wrapped up. I did not like Crossed as much as I like Matched. I'm kind of worried that I'm not going to like this one, but... I guess I won't know until I read it. So I have this ready on audiobook form and I plan on listening to this after I listen to Six of Crows. Next up is The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adi and I am so excited to get started with these. I think they're going to be amazing. The second book just came out and I actually have it on my shelf so I've got to read this one so I can get caught up. It's going to be awesome. It's supposed to be a retelling of A Thousand and One Nights, and I'm just so excited for that. And the last book in my TBR shelf area is The Thickety, A Path Begins by J.A. White. Again, this is another book that um, we got at the elementary library, and I just kind of want to have a feel for it so I can talk about it, as well as see um, what the beginning series is all about. I'm pretty sure with this one we're going to need to order the first two, but I thought, you know, it'd be nice just to read it and have some reference before we do. So these books here are my giant TBR stack for the next two readathons. And again, I don't really anticipate getting to all of these, but I just wanted to have plenty of books to keep me motivated. I'm hoping I can really just jump into these two weeks and just read, read, read. So I wanted to make sure I had a giant TBR stack to match that. So again, I do not plan to get to all of these, but I'm hoping to get a good few of them done. So that is my TBR for the next two week readathon. If you plan to participate, let me know your TBR down below. And thank you, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, go ahead and subscribe and you'll be notified when I post new videos in the future. And that is all I have. So stay tuned for readathon vlogs that I'm hoping to post. For each week, I will be posting one, hopefully the next two Mondays. So stay tuned for those, and I will see you then. Bye for now.